What's the most NSW thing you've experienced in a professional situation? I had a manager in a call center in 1999-2000. She would sometimes have one-on-one -on -one meetings with employees in her office. During a meeting with me she was wearing a short dress skirt, uncrossed her legs in a way where I could see she wasn't wearing underwear and had a landing strip. I'm pretty sure she noticed that I noticed, but I don't think she was doing it on purpose. I worked in a photo lab at a my right out of high school. This was just a couple of years before digital cameras killed film so I still dealt with people bringing in disposables and rolls of film to develop. 95% of the stuff I saw was kids birthday parties and vacation shots. The rest though was some NSW stuff. One woman in her mid 40s that apparently liked to party with her friends had a thing about resting her boobs on people's head. Nice boobs BTW. Another guy dropped off a disposable camera for one hour development. I ran it through and the entire role was a woman who was drop dead gorgeous just posing naked on the bed. Well when he returned to pick up the pictures she was with him. That was a very awkward moment of ringing them up and she couldn't look me in the eye. Had another guy drop off a camera who was a real class act. Naked photos of his GF wife, a collection of guns, and him snorting coke off a family picture. One other story I have is about a couple that brought in a roll of film. I ran it through the process and most of the images were innocuous, but the final few were probably a little saucy. I say probably because the images were so dark I couldn't make out much more than a silhouette. It was likely the wife modeling off some lingerie. I never printed the pictures though since they were almost all black. They picked them up and returned a short time later with my manager and store director in tow demanding I be fired for stealing those last few shots. My explanation didn't satisfy them so I was forced to put their film back in the machine and show exactly how the shots were and why they weren't printed. After that they got real sheepish and muttered an apology before quickly leaving. That peek into people's lives dried up when digital went mainstream though. I work in a photo lab currently, no that peak didn't go away, I've seen a ton of nude photos and stuff like that come through. Went into work because monitoring software on a server was sending out alerts. When I got there, a guy was in the break room cleaning a woman's shoe in the sink. He was super startled when I walked in and began some weird story about the shoe smelling bad and it distracting him so he decided to just grab it and wash it. I was like a, well okay then good corporate citizen. A few weeks later, someone walked in on him masturbating with a woman's shoe. Apparently, it was normal for female employees to occasionally leave a pair of shoes at the office. This was in Chicago, and you either left shoes there or carried them with you on your commute so that you could wear boots in the slush. At his exit interview, he made a point of saying that he always washed the shoes afterward, as if that somehow made it okay. They let him resign in lieu of calling the cops on him. Although I've often wondered what the charges would have been. Is this even a crime? The day he left, a memo went around explaining what had happened and authorizing full compensation for replacement of any shoes that had ever been left overnight. Edit. I forgot to mention that I had a forehead slapping moment after I heard about the guy getting caught wanking into a shoe. I realized that I should have asked myself why was he washing just one shoe? How could he know that it was the left shoe or the right shoe that was smelly and even then, how many people have just one stinky foot that haunted me for years afterward. I once saw a girl sit down on the floor in one of the cubicles and show everyone her clit ring. I worked at a KFC. We had a nasty ex stripper that worked there and a frisky manager. She wanted to go home early so they agreed that she could if he got to finger pop her butthole. They did it right behind the chicken warming case. I quit about a week later. I love that, in that moment it wasn't enough to quit, but after about a week of thinking on it. I was working for an international company and we were rolling out video conferencing equipment. We had the far end system in the London office on and connected. It was like 9pm there, for testing. The monitor was off there, but the camera wasn't. I was looking at network traffic when I heard voices, looked up and saw an exec and his male assistant. Went about my business when my co-worker walked in and said hey stupid change, did you get the what the frick? Exec had dropped to his knees and started going at it. On our 60 inches monitor, I quickly killed the connection, and I still don't know if my side was muted or not, but if it wasn't it was probably pretty funny with some dude getting a beach and the a sudden voice coming through from nowhere.
When I was 19 I worked for a quick oil change place and I had a woman sit in her car and change every stitch of clothing while I stood there and wrote down her information. Her partner was robbing the place while you were getting her info. First startup I worked at in the 90s, just a few of us, ran meetings by having the note taker use a sheet of paper placed over a playboy, if the note taker started flipping through the magazine, the meeting wasn't interesting enough and was declared over, immediately going for the playboy even before the meeting has started. My co-worker lightly brushes my junk and slaps my butt whenever she gets the chance, I'm not interested in her but I do like the attention. I have a girl at work who brushes her breasts up against me, sometimes her butt, and by god, it takes so much willpower to just keep on keeping on and not address it, but good golly, if I wasn't her boss, and slightly more attractive comfortable with women, and she didn't have a boyfriend, bro, that's a lot of caveats. I used to work at a sign shop that specialized in vehicle wraps, my co-workers were always freaking around. And one of them must have lost her bet or something. I walked around a tour bus we were wrapping, and I saw him standing on the scissor lift, applying the wrap to the bus, wearing only his work belt and shoes. In my company we have live video in every conference room. If a meeting is scheduled between two rooms, then the live conference connects automatically and the two rooms are both on live video. Anyone in the company can schedule this. Well we were in a meeting that ended and the next meeting connected. Turns out the people in the room for the next meeting did not know this and were in a very NSW activity. The whole executive team watched in shock what was happening in the 100 inch screen in front of them. They still have jobs, but that will haunt them forever. There was a guy and a girl, not in a relationship, that used to regularly go into the sick bay around lunchtime for 10-20 minutes. She was a bit loud, everyone nearby knew when they were in session. Work in the Niku. Walked in on a mom and dad snorting mom's pain pills off the medical cart. Go figure their child was also born addicted to methadone. Immediate reporting done. The owner of the company doing see off the breasts of the PR manager. In Brazil, we have this WhatsApp joke where they put some random video with the audio of Alexis Texas moaning very loud. Once I was on a kinda serious meeting and my boss got caught in one of those jokes. Needless to say that everyone laughed and took a 5 minute break before resuming the meeting. When I receive an 11 second audio file on WhatsApp I never risk opening it. Also I always have my speakers muted since this started. Jamadeo do zap threat is real. I was getting a physical for school and had to take my gown off for the hernia part that same second his phone rang and he answered it and I'm standing there butt naked while he talks on the phone for 10 minutes. Walked in on two people having sex in the break room. They claimed they hated each other and they ended up together. Some patient at the hospital comes out of his room wearing jeans, with a boner protruding through the open zipper. The people he walked past on that floor were too in shock to say anything to the guy, so he strolls onto the elevator and heads down to the lobby, full mast, goes to the cafeteria, picks out some food, then security finally makes it to the guy while he is waiting in the checkout line. Think he got a psych consult after that. He was just giving a salute to the world. While I was on cash at McDonald's during a warm summer day I had a 40-ish hot butt milf of a customer practically flash me to see if I would give her any free. She was only wearing a bikini top and shorts and she started pulling it to the side. I was so shocked I had no response but her gf, I'm guessing, got her to stop. It took like 5 minutes before I could think again. I was an hs at the time. During my clinicals to become a paramedic I saw two nurses and a doc go into a room together. Thought nothing of it until I went into that room to get something and they were having themselves a good old fashioned three way. I wasn't sure what to do so I did the mature thing and tried to gossip amongst the other nurses. They all already knew about it. Apparently the three of them actually lived together. I was the spot kid at a car dealership when I was 18. Moved cars around on the lot. When we got a spot, I'd clean it. A spot was the term for when one of the salesmen sold a car. I'd also clean up trade-ins and some other vehicles when I got a chance. We took in one of those big butt conversion vans on a trade. It was left in the back lot. On most slow nights, 
I'd grab one of the trades that was going to go back out on the lot and clean it. I was putting off cleaning this van for a while. It's a big butt can and it would take hours. So when I finally decide to clean it, I grab the keys and head to the back of the lot. Open the door. There's two of the male salesmen going at it on the crappy pullout bed. While the female sales manager watched from one of the swiveling captain's chairs. There was a crap ton of coke involved. I shut the door and slowly backed away. Never cleaned that van. The service manager asked why I hadn't already. Told him that. Let's say Jan. Said I didn't have to. And to ask her. Few days later it gets loaded up and sent to auction. Nothing was mentioned for a few days about what I saw. But it was weird in the sales office when I was around. Girlfriend's co-worker walked in on the boss son jacking off in the supply closet. They lock eyes and the son just goes. Oh crap. Co-worker backed out and closed the door. The son moved away. Haha. <laughs> Executive at a major billion dollar tech corporation got fired after a Vegas marketing conference. At a huge party where CEO and major officers were in attendance as well as some celebrities. He grabbed a video camera from the marketing team. He was executive. They kind of had to give it to him. And he proceeded to go into the ladies restroom and walk along past all the stalls with the camera above the doors pointing down. He had to have been completely lit. He was gone the next day. Not really a professional situation but it was on the job so. But in college I was a delivery boy for Domino's and I had to run through a parking garage staircase to get to these apartments. I busted through the door to the stairwell and almost hit some high school kid getting a BJ. Didn't really want to be a buzzkill so I just gave them a quick noise ee and kept running lol. I was 50 something working in a middle school as the network computer tech and got a BJ from a 30 something social studies teacher in her room, at her desk, during one of her planning periods. Worked at a school, teachers are thirsty. I was on call at the hospital one night during my residency. I get called at about 3am for a disturbance in a patient's room. I walk down the hall and hear some screaming and a bunch of nurses standing outside this patient's room. As I get to the door I see the patient standing in the corner, covered in her own poop, legs bent and arm up a gown. This woman was pulling out poop from her butt and throwing it at nurses and whoever tried to get near her. I nope the heck out of there. She eventually ran out of poop and I have a phone order for some meds to put her down. I felt bad for the housekeeping crew that night. They were up to their elbows in poop. I lost it after you said ran out of poop. Like a solider in the trenches running out of ammunition. I do hotline support so this person calls me for help and I take over his computer remotely. I realize I need a driver so I open his browser. You know those top 9 visited websites that's your start page in Chrome? All P. Other customer. Similar thing. Remote control his computer. He needed software installed so I help him get the necessary dependencies. I open browser. Type G for Google and see half a dozen websites that start with gang. Just kept typing. Got a bunch of Chinese customers. Half of them wants to gamble so I bring them to the casino. The other half wants to frick so I bring them to a brothel. Waited in the lobby, talking to a half naked woman. Gave her 20 for her time. One of these is not like the others. You have been visited by the science doggo. Upvote now and you will get high grades and good results within the next week. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.